Hi guys, this is Deepak and in this quick video, I'll show you how to configure Recovery Services Vault for your Azure Backup. Now, in order to create Recovery Services Vault, you just need to log into Azure portal and navigate to Recovery Services Vault. Now, once you get there, you can give a name to your Backup Vault as well. So I'm gonna give it Backup Vault 1. I'm gonna select my subscription resource group and I'm gonna select my location. So this location section is important if you are trying to back up your Azure VM and if those VMs are running in Southeast Asia, in that case, your vault should also be created in Southeast Asia. So I'll say create. Now this tool doesn't apply if you've got on-premises infrastructure and you want to back it up. But for latency and compliance purpose, you would like to keep it closer to your Azure data center. Now let's refresh and my backup vault is created. Now I will navigate and see the configuration I need to make. So I'll first go in backup infrastructure and I can go to backup configuration and I can select the storage of replication level if I want it geo redundant or locally redundant. So by default, it is selected as geo redundant, but for saving my cost and money, I just want to change it to locally redundant. So it's totally up to you if you want locally redundant or geo redundant. So I'll hit save, close this, and once it's configured, I can also configure other configuration items like alerts and events. So I go in alerts and events, select backup alerts, and I can configure notification. This configuration would send the email alert if anything goes wrong with my backup infrastructure. So I can give an email ID and I can select per alert, which means if any alert happens, I am notified immediately or I can get all the consolidated events in every hour. So let's just select per alert and I'm gonna hit save. Once it's done, I will go back and I can also configure my backup reports. So if I want to see a consolidated report of my backup infrastructure, I can connect this backup vault with the Power BI. So this section shows you the information how to configure this backup vault with Power BI. You can use this and configure it with uh, Power BI. Now this concludes the demo and in upcoming video, I'll show you how to backup your workload using this backup vault. Thank you. Bye.